the junior, a transfer from Eastern Michigan University. Kind of an interesting story, Courtney. The coaches from Eastern Michigan moved on. She had the option to, to look around. She did. Florida found her, and what a great addition. It's amazing. You could just see before she even started that floor routine, her personality. Her personality is so big. She's the second of eight children, and she feels like she's always got something to do, and you can tell during the meet. She never stops moving. Lauren Sissler's got a little bit more on uh, the Florida Gator Chomp. Lauren? It's so much fun to come in here and watch these girls. Each of the girls in this floor lineup will do the Gator Chomp somewhere in their routine. But what's great about it is the fans that you see in the stand actually figured out where that Gator Chomp goes before the season even started. So they did their homework. It'll be fun to watch where this goes. And Courtney, a little bit of history. 1994 is when that Gator Chomp first was implemented. That's right. That was Colleen Johnson. Her floor team, it was the first time it was choreographed into a floor team. So in 1995, they all must have been, we want that too. And it's been in every floor team since. And there it is, nicely executed. Rachel Gowie put up a 9.85. You know, transferring to Florida, even though they are such a powerhouse in gymnastics, was a difficult decision for her. She had built some gymnastics at Eastern Michigan, but Coach Rowland said she thinks she's having the time of her life here. It certainly looks like it. Rachel Slocum delivers for Florida in the two spot. Here it is, Courtney. That gator chomp. I hate to have a Georgia Bulldog judge the Gator Chomp, but it looked pretty clean to me. It looked absolutely perfect. Into that nice tumbling pass. And the third pass, just such good control. A slight movement of those feet, but overall such an exciting and 